What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we are here for my week 10 battle of WPL Season 8. Up against Guard Shop the God and his Lawrence Talonflames, he actually took over for another team earlier in the season. He was able to go ahead and help out the league by doing that, so big thanks to him. But a win right here would actually secure me a playoff spot, as we would be up at an 8-2 record, which is also... The win ratio that I like to earn by the end of a 12-week season, if it is 12 weeks, I like to go for 8 wins and 4 losses at least, and if it's 10 weeks, I like to aim for 7 and 3 at least, so a win right here would definitely be very big. We both brought very offensive teams, pretty much just screens and set up on both sides. His screen setter is a little in nine tails right here, mine is the Raikou, and then my three win conditions right here are my Dragon and Zagard, which does have a Yachi Berry to be able to take hits from Scarf a little in nine tails, in case that is what he decided to go ahead and bring to check Zagard after a Dragon Dance. My second setup sweeper is my Belly Dramic Mortar, which is just running Mach Punch, Flame Charge, and Return, of course. Kind of scary if he's running like some sort of Scarfer, like Scarf Terrakion or Scarf Crook, and then finally right here we have Rock Polish Cabalion. I'm actually not running Swords Dance, I have X Scissor, and then I actually have Poison Jab on here because he had a potential Road to Mo. The idea is, I'm kind of hoping he locks himself into a Dark type move with his Crocodile at some point in the match. I come in, get a Justified Boost to Rock Polish up, and I pretty much just destroy his team at the, that point because I do have X Scissor for the Celebi right here, so that's very cool. And then my Mega Deontay has three attacks and rocks. Rocks are really great at chipping things down for my Cabalion and Zagard. And then my Torn right here is actually the uh, the Skyplate set. I was originally running Flynium Z, but I actually have double Z on this team before, but I'm actually after to go with Phytanium Z Cabalion, and then we have Skyplate on the Torn right here. So that's going to be my team right here, and let's just go ahead and hop into the game. So... He actually makes a really offensive play turn one right now, and just throws up the Aurora Veil knowing that I could go for a Diamond Storm and knock him out, so that was really offensive, and I was kind of confused, I thought it might be Charty Berry because he made that play, because, like, why else would he stay in, but maybe he just made an offensive play, because it should be light clay, right? So, I go out here into my Raku, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw up my own screens. Uh, he's, just gonna go, he's just gonna go out into the Metagross, which is pretty obvious, so I can go for the Reflect right here. And because I have a Yachi Berry on my Zagard, I actually do not mind taking hits from him at all. He's going to first of all take some damage on my Raikou. I'm going to go ahead and Voltage out here into my Zagard. I have a Yachi Berry, I can take whatever he wants, and I do have Earthquake on this set and Thousand Arrows, so I'll be able to 2 it KO him no matter what behind the Veil right now. He does reveal right here that he has a Weakness Policy set, but it doesn't really end up mattering because he's not going to be able to knock me out with this next attack right here. And I am able to go ahead and knock him out right there, which is definitely very cool. Out comes this Alolan Ninetales again, which, despite my Yachi Berry, it's going to be able to go ahead and knock me out here through with the Blizzard. Which is unfortunate, but uh, since he only has one turn of Veil left, I decided to go out here into my McMortar and force him out. Just so that he can't get up the Veil again, and I actually decided to go ahead and pull a nice double right here. I was kind of expecting, uh, like, the Crocodile or the Terrakion to come out to check my Belly Drum set. Because I've, I've brought Belly Drum a lot, I, th I thought he might expect it, but he actually went out into the Celebi, so... Maybe it was Scarf Earth Power or something like that, but... I'm just gonna go out here into my Tornadus, as he's gonna go for a Calm Mind, which I guess is, this is just a setup Mon 2, but... I'm just gonna fire off a Hurricane here, unfortunately miss, but he's gonna go for the safe U-turn, knowing that he cannot actually 1v1 me. Would have been nice to hit that, of course, as... Right here, he's gonna go ahead and reveal that he is indeed Scarf Knockoff, and... As I said at the beginning, this is exactly what I was uh, hoping for. So I guess he's Adam and Scarf based on the damage right there, but right here, this is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm going to go ahead and hit him up with that Cabalion right now, get that nice Justified boost right here, and then I can go ahead and Rock Polish up, and uh, just proceed to run through his team pretty much. He goes out into Celebi right here, but I do pack the uh, nice x Scissor right here, so I'll be able to go ahead and knock that out. He's going to go ahead and send out the Terrakion next. I guess he was kind of, get, try, kind of trying to get me to have the close combat drops for the Free Alligator. I kind of thought he might be Chobberry right here, but I decided to go ahead and fire off my Zoom move because of that possibility, because if he has Chapelberry, it covers that, it knocks him out anyway, and I also do not take close combat drops, so I'm able to go ahead and fire off my Phytanium Z right here, and now he has to sack off another Pokemon if he wants to be able to knock me out with the Feraligator, so out comes Crocodile, he's going to have to go ahead and sack this off, and then now he can finally go out into Gator, live a hit, and it'll be able to go ahead and knock me out, but... It doesn't really matter, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the close combat right here. He'll be able to knock me out with the uh, Earthquake after the drops, of course. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and bring out my Mega Deontay right here. Hit him up with that Power Gem since I know he is Light Clay, and that is going to be GG right here. So, a very quick paced game. Pretty much came down to me getting the Justified Boost right there. I, can, I think he kind of forgot about it, or maybe he just hoped I would sack the Torn, but... We're able to go ahead and win that win game right there. Cabalion doing so much work, which is definitely very cool. 
And uh, yeah, thanks to the Guardians of the God for replacing once again. It was definitely very helpful for me, and that puts us up at 8-2, and two, as I said. So that's the record that I aim for, and now we also have a playoff spot secured for this WPL season. So I think making the playoffs is definitely the most important thing in WPL for me at this point. Like, I've already won the league twice, so at this point I just want to make playoffs every season, and we were able to do that this season as well. So there's still two more games. Those games are up against Nacho Everyday Trainer next week, and then Matt O'Shea for the final week in week number 12. So those should definitely be very interesting. They're both potential playoff opponents, so I don't know how much I'm going to reveal against them. But yeah, hopefully you all are looking forward to that, and I'll see you all next week. Later.